Tina, what's going on, everybody? This will be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for the season four finale of Boys Night Out. We have Josiah here. We have Jamar here. We have Maddie here. We also have giving you the real tea here. We have the whole gang here for the last episode of the season. How y'all doing tonight? Ooh, feeling blessed, feeling blessed. I'm ready for the weekend, child. It's been a long week. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, let's start this thing off by saying congratulations to our very own Josiah. He had a yes. great, a, a big interview yesterday um, with the girl with the girl that was exposing Miss Monica from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, honey. So shout out to Josiah. Got over 10K on that interview, honey. 10K. <laughs> okay. Point blank. I got in the back of our room. <laughs> <Period>. <laughs> All right, I still don't see it for Tanisha, but shout out to it. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to throw that out there. I, Tanisha, I still don't see it for you, girl, but it's okay. I appreciate the interview. Nobody don't really see it for her, but they don't. They are dragging her. <laughs> they be dragging other paths for it. <laughs> they are it really be good. I keep hearing about it. It must be good. Listen. That's probably one of, I don't even watch Salt Lake City like that. And that was probably one of the best finales I ever seen. Oh, <laughs> wasn't it? Listen to me. Sure. Exactly. All righty then. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and just get into the things of the things. Okay. And we're going to start this thing off with the first segment of the night, which is Whose catalog is it anyways, okay? And um, the person's catalog that was chosen this week, chosen by um, JoJo, uh, he chose Chris Brown. Oh. I'll be uh, exit out of this conversation. So Ooh. how do y'all feel about this? I mean, the first two... I listened to from cover to cover. It, it, it was that girl. Mm -hmm. Graffiti, it wasn't bad. Fame wasn't bad. Now, I did buy the other one next to so I think that one's Fortune. I, we gonna skip her. We gonna skip the next one after that. Royalty was cool. Um, it didn't everything else after that. I ain't got enough of. I mean, Heartbreak after a full moon, I did like that. Did you? I did. I did like that. That that was kind of cute. But other than that, um, I can I can give you a little bit of that top row. I can't I can't give you much on that bottom. Uh, <laughs> I swear I can't. I mean, it's, royalty was good. I did like royalty. The last one that I felt like was a you know of quality where I felt like oh this is actually a good body of work that I could enjoy was Fame. Same here. Um. After that, it just was like he was cranking them out like it was nothing. And it became right. more quantity over quality. Right. And they just got twice as long. So it was just like, girl, this right. is too, this is this is too much. It sounds right. the same. A lot of it sounds very uninspired. Like, is he trying to get out of a contract or something? Or what's what's going on? I don't even know where the last three even came from. Me either. Yeah, I don't even recognize it. I didn't even know. It's songs on the last three, but it's not like a whole album worth listening. And Royalty too is a couple songs on there. It's like it's like after for, like after fame is really nothing else to listen to for me because Fortune wasn't even good outside it, of the same one or two moments, but that's just one or two. Right, and then X, I only. No, um, new flame from that. That's the only song I, and I didn't like. That <laughs> the only one I know from that is Don't Think They Know. That's the only one I got from that. The oh, idea, no, like that. No, with Nicki Minaj. Was that that Aaliyah sample? Hmm? Was that that Aaliyah sample? Yeah, yeah. So I did like that. That's the only reason why I liked it. So, I mean, you know, that's the only thing I got from that. And Fine China, that she was cute. But other oh, than that, China was off that album. Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, I forgot. I didn't know what album it was coming from. <laughs> and on royalty, I only like Back to Sleep. Yes, that was my tip. I guess. 
And Discover. Discover was my shit too. Don't know that one. Child. <laughs> Why are we doing Christopher Maurice Brown like that? I don't. Why are we just doing Christopher I mean, Maurice Brown. I, can I be honest? I think that Chris is overrated. I don't think he's rated. <laughs> Why are we discussing somebody that put his hands on women, actively does drugs, is a colorist? Okay. Good. You describe most of the rap industry. He Good has not been. But we're, we're talking about Chris Brown right now. We're not nuancing this to most of the rap industry. <laughs> this is the topic. Let's focus on it, right? Uh, when when did when was the album he came out with after he put his hands on Rihanna? Graffiti. Uh, graffiti. Okay, so that's where I stopped. Yeah, was. yeah that, that I stopped at exclusive. So I'm not it, part of this conversation. Graffiti, I don't like that, man. It, it, was, it was forever tainted. So and promising. The first sing, two. He's basically Sierra as a boy. Now what? Not Sierra as a boy. Oh, no, MG. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> and I think you sound better than Sierra. <laughs> They both that's, got the same range. That man can't sing either. Not Sierra um, as a boy. That's why I said that I think that he is overrated as a musician, to be honest, because mm -hmm. people do be giving him a lot, and I don't see it. I mean, you see how people make up excuses for him like they just did a moment ago. Ain't that right, T? I make <laughs> excuses for Christopher Maurice Brown. I ain't making that no excuse. You like women beat saying. music. It's okay, T. All right. <laughs> it's all right. I have nothing for this. Fuck him. All right, so is that all that we have for this? Uh, yeah, because we mm -hmm. we not ragtag Pope Maurice enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could. Okay, so we <laughs> we could go on to the next <laughs> one, um, and of course, uh, Jamar chose these <laughs> villain hero so or bad. civilian, honey. Okay, Can't wait to see this. I love the I love the choices because they are so funny to me. But um, here are the choices that he chose, okay, the, with options. He chose DJ Academics, Krishan, and Diddy. Not you had to use a repeat from the previous week, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't here that previous week. Yeah, Diddy was one of those people, you know. Uh, I, I did not know. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, shit. Then you got the Butterball and then Blue's Tooth. <laughs> I mean, who's a bigger villain between DJ Academics and Diddy? Diddy. Well, right now, Diddy. <laughs> who's gonna be the uh, the 2024 big, you know, billionaire to fall and have a huge scandal? You have a mil you have a billion of oh my god you have a multimillionaire up here you have a toothless dragon lady and you have a goddamn chipmunk from Alvin the Chipmunks and you talking about who's the bigger villain obviously the man with more money academics is a civilian you're a podcaster and then right. Sean is too slow for this conversation we, we, where are we at what's going on <laughs> great choice <laughs> my ass bitch okay slow continue conversation. mm mm, mm, -mm. <laughs> I agree with Matt. Cause she show sure ain't no damn civilian. Like, like too slow to be one. I mean, excuse me for saying that right over here. Since she wants to uh, pop up in uh, blue syphilis face ass and Stewie Griffin mother, I, I'm I'm tired of seeing this lady. And also for DJ Aka, whatever the fuck that is, that man uh, pursues women who are not of age. I don't want to have a conversation about it. So. Whoop. There you go. Y'all want to, Josiah, what do you think, sweetie? You're so quiet all the time. What you feel about this? <laughs> I think that, um, shit, they all villains, in my point, in my opinion, because- That's right. Small villains, medium villains, and big villains. You better talk about the uh, rats in New York City. There you go. Small rats, big rats, fat rats. There it is. All right. <laughs> you got something for this, Scotty? You think everybody's cool? You want to make someone a hero today? Jamar, how about you talk about this? Your list, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there's no, there's, there are no heroes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. civilian and like, who wants to be the bigger villain? There is no heroes. <laughs> Because we can't. Yeah, that's why I say it, it's no heroes. Because it's a terrible list, like I said. Thank you. All right. DJ Academics, really the ultimate chick troll. Um, 
This that girl man is shaped like a chicken nugget. Like, girl, oof, oof, acad- don't get me started. See, you got these people up here and my blood pressure went up because it's not a vibe all the time. It's not. It's not. Yeah, the way they, they put that uh, footage out, that was so uncomfortable to watch. About that prayer before she went out there and destroyed that lady. Oh, Tony was not here for it. But, but <laughs> imagine walking in between two sisters during a prayer circle. Right. Oh, why was she? And, and, and I watched her just, and I'm like, that's demonic. You do know that, right? You should never have broken a prayer. You wait right, until they right. finish. That is black. You, that's something I was raised. Whenever they start praying, and if you're not part of something, you sit back and you wait till they're finished because they started it. Like, but in anywho, to that, Jamar's list is terrible. Boo. <laughs> Boot but what tomorrow. got me was how it was some people that called themselves trying to read Tony over Krishan ass girl. Are you surprised? Well, that's this generation because they don't understand who the fuck Tony Braxton is compared to Krishan <sighs> Rock. And a lot of us understand that Tony's weight is way more worth than gold than Krishan is. These new folks out here want to, you know, rock paper scissors for the girl that looks like a goddamn paper cut every time she opens her mouth. <laughs> so, like, I, I personally. That's why I, I said 2024 for me, I'm not going to be engaging with people like I used to. Because, like, you cannot help a donkey see it's an ass every day. <laughs> and, and Krishan is the definition of that. Like, girl, you had your child in suspended air walking <laughs> through a grocery store to then end up back with this man who dog dragged you that ended up beating up your friend who also got beat up by your sister. <laughs> it's not a vibe all the time. I hate Jamar's list again. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you're doing to the Chasing series, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They talk about it. It's that Patreon thread. Remember, $5 to read Jamar and Scotty. <laughs> I should be getting a percentage of it for giving them content. Shit. I mean, listen, if if you wanted to make that list a little bit more interesting this week, Kiki Palmer would have been replaced by Krishan because we like Kiki. Therefore, that's always going to be the hero. Now, we know academics is a civilian because he's like the hamster in the Kia commercials. You remember when they oh, used really? to be dancing in those sweatsuits before oh, they got the Kia? Really? So everybody's out of bar. Yep. Either that or the Quizno <laughs> sub. That's who DJ oh, Academics is for me. That little ah, the little monster for the Quizno stuff. So that's an old commercial before Joe Science. Ooh, that was that thing was horrifying. And Diddy's still gonna be the villain because he has money and power. You're gonna be the villain, and you also I don't don't want to say I don't or I believe, things, but somewhere Aubrey is still reading them. There's a little truth. If even if those are lies, and that there is truth in the things that were said. The, what was going down? So mm-hmm. I don't know. Terrible list, Jamar. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Hair. All right, so we can go ahead and go into the movie of the week. Um, yeah. Now, <clears throat> as far as the movie of the week, all right, this was chosen because it um, the ending of that particular movie was on New Year's Eve, and that movie is waiting to exhale. Okay. And I think we all can relate to this movie in some kind of form or fashion, some kind of way. Relate? I used to know half of the damn movie by damn heart. Be clear. My mom, I used to get on my mama nerves with that. Would you let the movie play? I know, I know most of the lines. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the soundtrack for me. Dude. Oh, yeah, the best soundtrack. Yes, God. Uh, mm. Is it streaming anywhere? I need to watch that again. Yeah, uh, you talking about the, is the movie streaming? Yeah, because I feel like I don't see it on a list anywhere. Well, like maybe like the popular ones. Where is it at? I don't know. I mean, how often do you turn on your TV to stream something? <laughs> For movies and stuff? A lot of time on Netflix. Bitch, I was at your house. The lies you tell. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, that television be sitting in perpetual state of... Okay, it's on your screen. Um, this movie meant a lot to me only because my mom was obsessed with it. It was the movie when she felt bad, she turned on. It was the movie when she felt good, she turned on. It was the movie that she literally found herself 
in real life being Angela Bassett's character. So <laughs> like you want to say relatable, I'm, we're grown men, relatable not, but relatable in the sense of us watching it in terms of understanding these women's stories and heartbreaks and relating it to the black women in our lives, especially with the fact that it was an all black cast full of like a lot of the people who still have relevancy now in Hollywood. Some not so much, but um, it was also Whitney Houston. You can put down as one of Whitney Houston's, if not her best movie. Mm, yeah. Maybe Bodyguard. Mm. I was in the Bodyguard, Preachers. I watched, we watched Preachers. Because we're not putting Sparkle in there. I'm just going to tell you that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're not. We're not. Nor are we doing um, Impossible. She wasn't in there long enough. You know, things are happening. At, mm -mm, mm -mm. Not not that little wig. That was a Halle Berry, uh, I lost a child wig. We're not going to do that. No. <laughs> Maybe. I get what Maddie is saying, though. Like, I, I, I think I can relate more to Savannah than I could Julia, because I ain't never been no first lead. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, I, I can get where Maddie is coming from when it comes to that. Like, we, we, if we're talking about that, I do agree with Maddie with that. Different different women for different people for different Yeah, for like, different you can't talk about a Whitney movie and not talk about Wade and Exhale. Like, that's just... That would be blasphemy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like talking about uh, Tony Braxton and mentioning Tamar. No one needs to do that. Because <laughs> one's <laughs> career is better than the other. And she lets us know that every time she gets on <laughs> Twitter. She's like, Tony ain't going to say nothing, but I'm going to say it. That's the thing. She's like, my sister don't speak because she has lupus. That's not what makes them not speak, sweetie. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, but I, I hate to bring up her face into this, but you know, uh, there were, I think the soundtrack was probably the, like Jamar was saying, the best part of the movie because I had the soundtrack. We had multiple copies of the soundtrack. Like, <laughs> If you had the tape, mm -hmm. oh yes, there were double sides, mm -hmm. like the full bit. It was good stuff. I did, and that was one of my favorite Brandy songs. Came out that um, album. Well, since we since we brought up the uh, the soundtrack, what are some of you guys' uh, favorite records off the soundtrack? I know pretty much probably all of them, but what would you say is your favorite favorite songs? Top five off the soundtrack. Sit down on my Snoop, Snoop. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. It just it was how it came out. It was snoop snoop. It was <laughs> I know I'm kidding. <laughs> and Faith Evans too. Like, that, it's hard for me to name song. just one. Cause I I, I could play. I the said five. Oh, see, mine. I, I okay, can't do so that. I could play all of. I could. I could listen to the whole thing. It's sitting up in my room. Let yeah. it flow. Why yeah. does it hurt? Why does it, does it hurt? So, so that is my. Yeah, that's the one. Don't uh, cry, Mary J. Blige, and oh, the last one's gonna be hard. That's why T said he can't do it. I can do yeah. four. I can't do five because a lot of the rest of them are good too. I don't know. That's hard for the five. Maybe all night long with SWV and Babyface. Maybe. Love it. I mean, wow. Sure. Yeah, wow. I was about to say, oh, missing you with Brandish. I said, oh, wait, no, that's another song. Let's set it off. <laughs> <laughs> are you biting her? Baby, that is set it off. Okay. Oh, I'll be missing you. But um, mine is sitting up in my room, um, all night long with SWV, kissing you with Faith Evans, um, of course exhale shoot, um, like T said, it's so many. I don't know if I can name five. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> um, and the song she did with CC Winans, the, the last song, Count on Me. Oh, yeah, Count love that song. I was like, Count on Me is definitely in my list. Count on Me, Sit in My Room, Exhale, Not Gonna Cry, and mm, mm, Let It Flow. <laughs> I, I love how sitting up in my room is on everybody's list. Well, because <laughs> that was when Brandy was in her supreme era of music, in my opinion, before, mm -hmm. you know. 
does not happen. So, oh my goodness, I can't. Huh? I can't. Whatever, Moesha. That should be epic. <laughs> Can you imagine her writing her diary after that? Do do do. Well, there goes my career. Do do do. Oh wow! Do do do. Tell you something. God bless her though. She's doing good. People like her still. People bought the Christmas album. Not a lot of people, but people did buy it. That was good. <laughs> I didn't care about the Christmas album. I'm glad you did. Me neither. I'm glad someone else did it. Fuck her. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my. I would never say that about Brandy Norwood, the vocal Bible, alien shaped head. Mm-hmm. Never do that. Alien shaped head. I met. She's shaped like a key. I assume we're supposed to throw <laughs> her in a door, and then something big is gonna open. I don't know. I do like Brandy though. I just not after once human happened. I was like, eh. Jamar. You said justice for human. <laughs> oh, I still like the album. Now, what was she child? That whole child. She said hello with that, but I still enjoy it for what I think it's just nostalgic purposes. Because that was my first year of uh, college, you know, just a lot of the stuff that I was going through. She was talking about, so that's why I was like, mm. I know a lot of folks didn't like long distance, but I love that damn song. Mm. I wouldn't have made it a single, but it was. Uh... Sounds like Candace's music. Oh dear God! What she sound like? I don't know what she sound like. Like small. I'm waiting for the Candy Burris new album experience. I oh, see so God. many TikToks from her. She might as well have an EP out now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Okay. Well, um, as far as Wait to Exhale, we talked about the soundtrack, but who was your favorite character? Out of the, out of the four women, who was your favorite character? Bernadine, Annie. but you to be so mad to set your ex soon to be ex husband car on fire in front of your damn house and tell the people it's trash while smoking a cigarette and walking away. That is an iconic. Period. People who haven't even seen about that movie know that scene. Okay. Cut, listen, cut that hair. It said I'm doing so Bob T's bitch, and I'm still puss. What's up? Getting mm. men all the time. Huh. I was like, yeah. It was if you don't want to cut this um, shit off my head, I do, I do my goddamn self. <laughs> it was been her and uh, Loretta Devine's character for me, for my favorite. She was a close. Yeah, I'm about to say Gloria is my favorite. Because I needed her to. I needed some. I needed some peace a little bit, you know. Also, uh, wasn't that Gregory Hines that was uh, helping her with the boxes too? Mm-hmm. And is he, he watching me walk away? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is he still looking at me? Oh, oh. <laughs> Y'all better put some respect on Loretta Devine. I feel like she does not give her dues as much. She does. Uh, when the original dream you got girl. this girl in here yeah. sucking your little seventeen-year-old dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember when he was like, "Damn, my daddy, my daddy gay." What? Right. Uh, I remember Kenya Moore being in there. So oh, yeah. now, do you yeah. remember you knowing that was Kenya Moore? Because you, none of us did until she got on Housewives of Atlanta. So yeah, not at all. Yeah. I did not know that was her at all. Maybe. Maybe. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have until she got on Housewives of Atlanta. I saw <laughs> Kenya Moore stands getting mad. You felt the same way too. You didn't even know she was in the movie. Hmm. Anywho, <laughs> 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 playing herself. Woo! All right, all right, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now out of all of the men that they were with, who was the worst? I know they all were trash, but who was the worst? Um, uh, uh Bernadine husband, the husband in Diary of a Mad Black Woman was the worst. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he always just plays an awful ass. <laughs> he does, right? He's never he on her. He never. slept with cousin Faith. Like you just been fucking up the entire time, sir. I just wonder what his that, real man? life looks like. Cause like I would be starting to think things in reality are the same. It's like, but you always play the same character. So right. are, you, are you a method actor? Cause I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he plays the same damn person. Oh. Well, which was worse, Bernadine or Terry? Terry. Terry. Mm. Anytime you can fuck my cousin. <laughs> in our house. In my in our house. Okay. 
I miss movies but, from the 90s and the aesthetic of the, that kind of films because that was around like poetic justice days and this, that, and the other, the style of like black cinema in general, top tier. Uh, so good. They don't do it like that no more. No, they about, don't. They're Tubi. I was just about to ask. Oh, girl. Do y'all think we will ever get that? I'm sorry. Do. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say about Kong? Can you what? hear me now? Huh? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said something about a penis. What did you what, what? No, I didn't say anything about a penis. You sure? What I said was, <laughs> what I said was, do you guys think that we will ever get that back as far as like as far as black cinema goes? Do you think we would ever get those type of movies back again? Depends on who's in charge and who wants it to look that way and it to feel that way. Because yes, we get new things all the time, but I'm waiting for it maybe it needs to be me a director or a writer or someone to go, let's start playing with what we used to like and throw it into a movie that's gonna make us all enjoy it. Cause it's possible. They do movies with nostalgia film all the time. It's just, we need the right people writing it and not people who are married to people named Rebecca. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Tell the stories and have the people in the writing room that you're telling the story of their about. black experiences and not of how how they met Julia Stiles in a club one day and they taught them how to do ballet hip hop style. Give that's all I'm asking. So I, <laughs> some black love stories would be fucking great versus you know Jaquan and Tiffany. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just I'm asking these questions. He does not have to be a basketball football player. Okay, she doesn't have to be against her parents. And this is some, a, a big ox met. I don't want to see that shit again on my TV screen. I'm getting sick of it. Give us black love stories, full on experience in the community. There are gay people in the black community, believe it or not, trans people too. Guess what? Give us the whole, give us the whole. Absolutely. Give it all, please. So be, being that this is the finale and this is the movie of the week, and we we are talking about '90s um, movies. What are some of you guys' favorite '90s movies that you can think of off the top of y'all head? I already named one of them. Poetic like justice. black movies in particular, or just movies? yeah, black movies. Since we're talking about black cinema, Poetic Justice set it off. Uh, Love Jones. Um, let me you see know where Sprung? Uh, was it Sprung? Woo. No. Movie. Woo's another yeah. one. Yes, yeah, Sprung. Yes, yeah, Sprung and Woo. Yeah, Sprung and Woo was real good. Ooh, Had to be belly. a place that was my shit. Belly was everything. Um, yes, it was. Belly was okay. so urban. And and I I it. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was everything to me. Listen, fall in love, of course. Yes. Oh hell yeah. Um, hell yeah. Paid in full. Um, all that. that. Uh, Minutes to Society. See, them were my kind of movies. Oh, like, yeah. See, them were movies. No, I you gotta do, it. but you have to do the Minutes to Society while drinking juice in the hood. You have to do that one, too. Yeah. Don't be a Minutes yes, to Society yes. while drinking juice. Because the Wayne's Brothers was doing it. And the other mm -hmm. day, I posted a GIF of uh, the men on film, two snaps in a circle. And somebody of Caucasian descent, please forgive me for saying this for those cocks that are listening to this right now, but hear me out. You actually wrote, This is my favorite skit from Mad TV. Can you, yes, can you imagine as an in living, y'all know, we know that's from a living color, but like you completely took it to a whole nother, you, you just said no, mm -mm. <laughs> like mm -mm. y'all watch how y'all post things online. Y'all look silly. I, I have a good time seeing people tell me they don't know black folks. I did an Eddie Listen. Murphy one too. Someone was like, oh, he was in, no, he wasn't. <laughs> no shade to Mad TV, Not but movie. honey, they could never. Okay, living color, baby. That was it. That was it back in the day. Well, you want to talk about some of the most offensive comedy, but so fucking hilarious for the time. Mm -hmm. Jim Carrey also got one of his biggest starts through in living color. The Wayne mm -hmm. like got him there. Come on now, like please. Mad TV was great. Love Mad TV, but in living color. Listen, you know what? That I I know that we're sounding like. You know, people that that we looked up to, like like our aunts and uncles and shit yes. like back in the day when they was talking about, oh, well, back in my day, and they, they were right, they, they were right, and they now right. I'm sitting up here doing the same thing. Yeah, and every and, generation and, has. We were right. They, they were right. 
and, and then our other generation will soon say the same for us and go, we were right. Mm -hmm. knows I don't know what this next generation gonna have because I don't know what they got, what they gonna look back on. Right now they got Krishan Rock. <laughs> really let that settle in. <sighs> Sexy red. Ooh. Ski. Light skin glow. That's gonna light. be an old school song one day. That's, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be <laughs> Wait, Jacquees. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean the king of R and B? Oh, yeah. e, that, that's e, who you e, mean. That man's not even a uh, oh. joke. Uh, the Joker. <laughs> that man's not even the instruction card in the pack. <laughs> 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 Oh, did you? <laughs> oh my God! He wouldn't even be like a part of the process of making the cards alone. He'd be sitting up by watching them make the cards, going, "Gee, I wish that was me." Like I can't. <laughs> Terrible. Thing. Right. Oh I can hear someone now. Come on, Maddie. That person has good music. They do not. You can think it's good, just like Scotty finds K. Michelle music to be, you know, great. amazing. I'm sure you do. I know her for drama. See, that's why I like her. I don't like her for singing. Don't sing to me, sister. You yell at somebody <laughs> let them know that they ate that uh, Kirk, Kirk. Like, again, yeah, I, I want that kind of Kate Michelle. Um, you know, when she got Ooh, put her name been together. shaking the table. Like <laughs> Wait, when she got Lyrica together during that couple show, and Lyrica was so mad. Oh, Ooh, I loved it. That I was, loved it. Pissed. I was like, yes, pissed her. Because I really can't stand Lyrica. Ooh, ooh, shut up, Matt. This is a whole the show. I thought mm -hmm. I was just—I thought that was just me, though, Maddie. I can't stand Lyra. She gives no, me I, wanna no, be. No, nobody like. She nobody. wanna be. She give me. I've gotten in the door a few times, but I didn't know how to act around it, and I picked the wrong man. I'm still trying to make everybody think that I'm the like. I, I no, like. Mm -mm. And her I, mama, I, her mama, just as bad. Her mama, I still can't believe always I was in the I heard her entire album. Her mom. You really crazy. listened to her? Album? I had to. I just wanted, man. I was so okay. Truthfully, I was on my fifth blunt that day. I was gone to the wind, and I heard about. it. I was like, "Bitch, let me listen to this shit." I have never laughed so hard about. You know, <laughs> there were so many funny songs, and she was very sexual. She wanted us to know that she wanted them trap doors open. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bitch, it was giving me a, a trap in Vietnam, sister. We gonna put this leg through, and it's not coming back out. It's it's gone forever camp but good for her glad she's still making music for 50 people listen oh. spe speaking of songs did y'all hear the diss that tokyo tony made to <laughs> the blue face mama did y'all hear that shit? Yeah. no did you understand it i'd be listen <laughs> I, I said, God. what is happening in the world today like that's the first thing i said like what is the world come to I just feel like Tokyo Tony, every time she opens her mouth, a pack of black and milds fall out. <laughs> like, like, not wood tip, not wine, but like the plastic ones that burn wrong. Cigarette breath, don't cool. Yeah. Right. Right. Like the ones that you already know she'd be breaking them up like this. <laughs> I am tickled. Lord Jesus. She just, she smells, I, she look like she smells like black and mild. She do. It gives, right, it gives black and mild, like not even cigarettes, black and mild. Well, I think it, uh, as someone who used to smoke, I don't smoke cigarettes or black and miles anymore. There is a distinct odor of a person who smokes black and mild. And if for those of you who smoke them, if you don't think you don't smell them, baby, yes, if you yeah. smoke them in your car, it will never mm -hmm. smell the same again, ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember those days. Like toffee tobacco. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked a black in a long time, so I've, I've almost that forgotten. was college for me. Yeah, I used to be real into it. Sometimes you want to mix it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? When you're down, just on the money, you're trying to like break it down real quick. You want to go? I used to hang out with some trade, real trade. Oh yeah, me too, child. Just like they used to unpack it and then pack it back mm -hmm. up again. And I let them do it for me too, every time because I know after the end of this black, I'm about to get my back turned out. Okay, anywho, but yes, yes, good times, good times. I don't experience anymore. I'm an older, I'm older, wise. 
But I tell you what, if so uh in the range of 25 and up trade roll pass speed, go what up fat is on. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. And it'll be off right after that because we ain't gonna do this, but sure, you can have this one, okay? Uh, single is 2024. I didn't have no dick at the end of the year. I need it. Oh, I understand that. I know, I saw your tweets. What tweets did you see? Hey, everybody, I want to ask y'all a question. So if you are, like, thinking about this guy, you and Jamar do the same tweets, by the way. If you're thinking about this guy and you really want to be with him, should you be with him? <laughs> and then it's, it's a reply, Scotty, love yourself. Or Scotty, you know you should be loved. You're like, yes, I know. You're right. And then Jamar, <sighs> I think tonight it's the one. You know, when they give you butterflies, E-face, E-face, E-face. Tell us about that, Jamar, since, yes, you did post that before the end of the year, and I did screenshot it just in case I wanted to bring it up again. It was doctored. <laughs> All doctored and forged. Oh. <laughs> See, Jamar got a house call so he can host for real for real. He ain't got to bring them through the gate gate. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got something to come up the escalator or the elevator no more. He's like, bitch, park in front of the garage. I'll open the door for you after unlocking it. Do you do this, friend? Beep, 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 beep. Go, 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 go. Because I, I hated that whole process. That was one of the main things. I had to get out of here because that okay. was too much. And now you've got Brink security. There you go. Look at you. Up and in he the will world. come down them steps and come to that gate with the moo on and the bonnet. But let's, oh, Scotty, you forget. Jamar lived in a uh, concaved hood of uh, apartment homes, so you had to go down past you another apartment. Ooh. Go <laughs> into a parking lot to then journey. go through some random gate where a few Caucasian people that lived there looked at you crazy, but it was like, honey, we're in Atlanta. You are the minority. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, every time I went somewhere and somebody white looked at me funny, I'm like, no, 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 sweetie, you, it's, it is you. I'm going. Why are you downtown? What are you doing over here? <laughs> and then you got to go here at all, place. man. That elevator was so slow too. I'm so glad Jamari got over those days. So I mean, it was like a maze. I was like, what the hell? And they then didn't the want Uber to him. Kind of fly. I'm like, sir, I'm good. Leave me alone. Then the Uber driver, you had to hit, tell him to go all the way to the back. Mm -hmm. They sure going to drop back right there. at the front. I know they were hot. <laughs> I I get were food hot. delivered there. People got to call the, the the main call box. Don't even work half the time, so you got to go down. Girl, please. I remember ordering food at your establishment. Jamar is yes. apartment hot, y'all. It is, is not. No, you you like to live. I, I wanted to be Antarctic in my apartment, but I can't anymore because I have cats now, not just one, cats now. So the new baby doesn't like the cold. So I have to keep my fucking thing at 75, which I'm evil about. However, it's cold outside. So that patio door will be open every other moment. So let that good air come on in here. Okay, I mean, right. 73, 74, I go back and forth. I'm cozy and comfortable. Mm -hmm. Child. I can't do the cold. Think, I can't do it. You think you're so good because you got a new wall to put your pictures behind, don't you? <laughs> yes. You think you're so <laughs> you think special. Uh, uh, you think you're so special because we can see your new ring light. Ha, huh? is that what it is? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> hey, so y'all are nominated for a Boss Babe Award, right? Yes. Where are the nominations? Because I want to see who's on the list. <laughs> they haven't released all of them yet. Oh, so they've been really announcing people, right? Yeah, they're just announcing people. Who have they announced? Nobody that I know in our category. Oh, oh. do they know you? <laughs> they make content about you. Sure. Are they monetized? None of the above. <laughs> <laughs> is the reason they got a Patreon is because they had to have one because they were monetized. I mean, if you weren't watching on the free, never mind. Watch. What? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> you know what? Let me move on. Yeah, this is, this is the year, Jamar. This is the year. This is the year. You stop being so goddamn quiet. You start swinging people with that hair of yours, bitch. You, <laughs> you got fucking weapons on your head. It's time to say, fuck these hoes. They called you what? Look at you. Look at you. Don't be calling someone ugly when you ugly too, boo. Boop. Yeah, something else to say. Boom. Shaka, 
Well, well, we stood at the award show and they outside. Right. I ain't out. never seen. I ain't never seen an ant come up to a motherfucking like scorpion and be like, "Bitch, you ain't shit, girl. Get on that my friend's level. Try it again next." Well, okay. let's get into what's the tea. <laughs> no, that was the tea, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> that was the tea. I'm sick of it. <laughs> so we got four um different topics for what's the tea. And the first one involves this this one, this story came out, I think, yesterday. I think it was yesterday that this story came out. And this is about T.I. and Tiny. Oh, girl. So they found the people they were pushing across the oh, never mind. Oh, never so mind. so apparently there's a, a woman that accused T.I. and Tiny of, you know, drugging her in a new SA lawsuit. And according to them, they said that the plaintiff that is filed as a Jane Doe was enlisted in the U.S. Air Force and stationed in L.A. around 2005. And she and a friend went to a party at Coolio's home and met a guy who went by the name Caviar, who they alleged worked for T.I. and Tiny. The woman claims that while out at a nightclub with the couple, Tiny handed her a drink that she never saw Tiny sip. The woman says she shared the drink with a friend. She says that when it was time to leave, T.I. asked the woman to come ride with him and Tiny while the other women rode with caviar. She says women she didn't know joined them in the SUV, and all five of them went to a hotel room together. She even claims that Tiny kicked one of the women out for flirting too much with T.I., she then go on to allege that T.I. took her to the bathroom, took off their clothes before a naked T.I. joined them in the shower. Yuck. The woman claims that while in the shower, she started to feel a little dizzy and T.I. told her to lie down. But that didn't mean that the party was over. She says that T.I. started watching porn and instructed her to rub him down. She says that's when Tiny pinned her and started grinding her naked body on her. As if that's not enough, she says that T.I. penetrated her, the J.J., with his toe. She told, she told Tip to remove his toe, the tip of and his that's toe. when she claimed <laughs> she threw up. She says that T.I. started laughing and told her that she was in last place. She says that she's filing a lawsuit to California's S.A. and Cover Up Accountability Act. Okay. I heard that before that T.I. liked to like to play around with they coochies with his feet. I've heard this before. I've heard that before. I did. I don't I don't know if it's the same girl or not, but I have heard that before. I that is just disgusting. Like, A troll? Yeah, <laughs> I, I no, I, I've seen I've heard that before. That allegation about T.I. I don't know if Tiny was there or not, but I've totally heard that before. I don't know if it's the same girl, though. <clears throat> it's a mess. Okay, then, also, after that allegation came out, T.I. and Tiny issued a statement, of course, and they said, on the heels of positivity, negativity always rears its ugly head. The plaintiff has been threatening to file this lawsuit for three years. For three years, we have denied these allegations. For three years, we have maintained our innocence and refused to pay these demands for things that we did not do. For three years, we maintain the same position while the claims in this story have changed time and time again. Our position is clear. We are innocent of these fake claims and we will not be shaken down. And we look forward to our day in court. In my opinion, when there's smoke, there is fucking fire. <laughs> that is a lot. It is. That is a lot. I mean, wow. Girl. I don't know. So, I don't know. It's like looking at two shapes. Try to make like who remembers like that show The Wiggle Town or something like that. Hold on, let me stop. Let me stop before I start saying some fuck ass shit. Hold on, let me be quiet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's like hold on. Like tiny is like the bouncing ball in a Kotex commercial, letting us know that tampon is gonna hold it together, right? And then like TI is the last Q tip in the pack that fell underneath like the car seat. So it's accumulated all that shit, but you really needed to use it that day. So you had to pull it out, right? Like it's a circle and a stick. Okay. 
Like, oh. it might as well be a baseball and a bat. Like, like, can you imagine having not Miss Piggy and not Kermit the Frog pull you into a hotel room to then put said toe into vagina? But at the same time, I asked the question, y'all see these celebrities, you want to be a part of this life? And then they'd start to bring you in and say, start to move you around and shit. I feel bad for this woman in multiple ways. I also asked, there are points in times where you should have thought something's not about to go down the way it's supposed to go down. Like, I feel bad for her, but I'm almost trying to say, oh, what am I looking for here? Are you mad that you're last place? Or are you mad that this all took place in the situation? I, I That's where my mind's going with this. Because when she included that, I'm like, so you want us to feel sorry for you because he doesn't like you no more because you threw up and you needed it and blah, 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 blah. But it does feel like they did take advantage of this woman. I'm still on her side for that. I'm just also asking questions like. Absolutely. At what part of the, what time in the night did you start to go, this isn't okay anymore? Was when did the it after that? Start? Yeah, <laughs> like, is it after you were told you were losing or was it like in the Not beginning of it all? Cause you you knew Tiny gave you something. You, it's you now in that report the before you even got to the house. Yeah, so that's me going. So you were aware of this, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm concerned for more for her than I am for Ti and Tiny. They have money. They they know how to move bodies across the states. You know, <laughs> right? So I don't know. It just seems in, it's interesting to hear this. Uh, if I cared more about Tiny and Ti, I would probably be more invested. But I don't see them as people. I you saw what they birthed, right? A whole puppet. Mm -hmm. I just see them as fun <laughs> due to the times. Like their child looks, is the most insane amalgamation of genetic features to be put together into a human entity. Like yeah, they all of the worst, it's like all the worst parts of the meat. They made a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing on business. Oh, we're gonna move on, honey. With, with, with play fucking play. white cheddar Cheetos for hair, no ma'am. Like we're we're not. I think that there's some missing parts in that story. Not saying that she's lying, but I I'm just feel like it's just. I mean, I'm. I need. I have questions. We have questions. There, there is questions because you gave too much of a personal. Like, well, they made me feel it. I'm like, mm, okay, so, girl, when did you start to pull your brain together in this moment? Because. I don't know. I feel bad for her because nobody should be given something and of course they can't control themselves afterwards because you're inebriated. But I know when you see a celebrity and they ask you to jump, some people will do anything. Mm -hmm. so, some people like some people low-key want to do threesomes with these type of couples, you know? Like how I want to do a threesome with Taylor and I'm mm. Chad, if I'm gonna do a threesome with somebody, it's gonna be some <laughs> Make me sweat. It, it, it wouldn't be Tamika and Clifford. It needs to be some answer. real, real ass from both And now that I'm thinking, like, I don't, T.I. doesn't give me that he did, he gets his feet done well. So he's probably sticking some old nasty. Oh, no. Shirt. So the Lama Snow monster got in her poon. And then that's what had happened. That's not like, and you know, the, the, the vajayjans are sensitive. Yeah. Wonder. So that goblin that makes them toes itch got in there and was like, and he thought it was a toe. And then that's probably why she's suing. I would sue for that too. Have a T.I.'s Lamisil monster up in there. That's nasty. Right. <laughs> Pick your toes up your wife. Coach. Get her and this was 2005. So Tiny definitely looked different back then too. I mean, Listen, I don't know I, what she does. Like, like ah! Tiny looks like an abscess that keeps getting bigger and bigger to be. You know? <laughs> right. Scott, can we do like the next one? On the back of an ear is what Tiny gives. <laughs> Wait, what, what you say? Let's do the next subject. <laughs> <laughs> like, take, like Tiny is shaped like one of them sippy cups that does this. And no, has oh my and God. <laughs> Maddie. You wait till I tell my mom you said that. She gonna holler when I tell her. You know what cup I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> on this. I, every time I see her, I feel like, whoa, girl. I'm just <laughs> ribbed for her pleasure. I say it. Oh, God bless her. Remember, remember, she got the Jamar eyes. Yeah, she went to the doctor and was like, I want to look like Jamar. And was like, <laughs> girl, <laughs> I, I can take mine out. <laughs> 
I know she said, No, I want this forever. I want to be reminded I'm light skinned forever. Um, and it's anyway, so dangerous. I'm like, I'm girl, it can never be that serious. I mean, she can't see past the own shelf, you know what I'm saying? So, w- w- she probably don't even know what she looked like when she wakes up in the morning. She just be, mm-hmm. I bet I'm gonna look good <laughs> today. Mm-hmm. I hope she don't know what she look like. Okay, um, so next topic, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> next so, toxic, what. <laughs> So Trina and Nicki Minaj. Oh, we're talking about this. Okay, the yes. Beyonce thing. Oh my god. So the Barb's were pissed because Trina said what she said, and this is what she said. We gonna play that for. I think now is the time. Like, what do you think? There's something specific that happened in in music and culture. Am that I kind interviewing of the her? Landscape for more female rappers to rise to the top. Yeah, Beyonce. Cause she's like the number one female rapper when she does rap. So I feel like, I feel Listen, like this is it. people do sleep on Beyonce when oh she no, does spit. There's no sleeping on the queen. Okay. There's no sleeping <laughs> on the queen. Um, it's just one of those things like when this rapping involved, it's like, Oh my God. Like it just, it's, it's more inspiration. And, um, I don't know. It's just a good thing, man. I just, I feel like for the girls now, and when you hear them and when you look at them, it's just all different kind of music and it all yeah. sounds different. And, you know, um, we all come from different places, almost kind of like the same, same kind of, you know, bring, upbringing, but then you just branch out and you just have different, you know, everybody from a different city, different state, have a different struggle, different hustle, different, yeah. you know, story to tell. So, you know, I just love to see it and hear it, even if it may not be the best to whoever, to some of us, but when you look at it, you appreciate it more because it's like doing their thing. So I'm still on mute. Okay, so that's what Trina said. Now, apparently, the bar. Now, what the folk mad for now? She said different so many times. I'm not even going to lie. She did. It's like 12. That's the only word she knows. (laughs) It's so Um, different. different. So, the barbs got mad, which led to Trina saying, for the dusty, crusty, funky (laughs) bitches in the back, Beyonce is the queen of rap when she raps in all other genres of music. Now, stay mad, goofies. I said what I said. And now she's going to check me. Carry on. Did did Beyonce mention Trina in the Break My Soul remix when she was talking about all the, the, the legendary children? I don't think so. Is she, if she's looking for a part act two of Renaissance, I don't think you're getting it, Train. Um, but okay. But my thing is like if that's if that's what she liked, then girl, that's her opinion. Why? And mind you, like, <laughs> Trina, Trina is a rapstress. We've heard her rap about her poon and peen and all the other things and Kaya's S. Oh, baby, you sneeze. <laughs> as soon as I said Kaya, my cat sneezed. He knows what rotten puss is. Listen, um, oh, wow. no, I'm not gonna say that. I don't know Kaya's medical van like that. But yeah, I. I, okay, I'm going to be, listen, as much as I love Beyonce, y'all know I have spent money to go see that lady and then some. There's legit shit behind me that proves that. Mama can do every genre. I'm not going to call her the queen of rap, though. I felt like that was a way to get news, a way to get some traction going and for people to start talking about her again. Because let's be real. You got to follow it up with something. How often do you talk about Trina I mean, how often did you talk about her last year? <laughs> when Love and Hip Hop was on? I mean, even then, uh, like, no shade to her, but good, but good for her. She wants to say that. We like that, Trina. I like Beyonce. But did she even say herself? Most people would have been like, me, bitch. Like, I mean, did she? That's me. It's like, good why are you God. saying her of all people? And, and no shade, if that's what she would have felt. But I'm like, Trina, do you believe in you? No. <laughs> no. Anytime she got up and did a tribute to Nicki Minaj when Nicki Minaj first came out, and I'm like, girl, Nicki should be tributing you. Mm. That definitely Trina came out before Nicki, way before that. Um, don't say that to the barbs though, because you know, you're not allowed, you're not allowed. Yeah, we don't know, nobody else give an opinion about it. She didn't even say nothing bad about it. Nikki, you know, so you know, like she said, Beyonce is the best uh, queen of rap, and Nikki is trash. She didn't even mention like, Nikki's name, <laughs> or even say Beyonce is better than Nikki because there was no because of, and then some, and da 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 da. It's just 
I get it, but I'm also like, y'all, y'all are mad, just mad, like, okay, well, so why, who cares? I can't live like that. Trina gave yeah. an opinion. I don't, I don't understand why they why they be so threatened though. Like anytime you talk about rap and you like female rap, and then you and then the artists come out and say who they like, and they don't say Nicki name. Oh, you hate no Nicki. Oh, Nicki this, Nicki that. Uh -huh. Like grow up. Everybody ain't got to like her. She's not everybody's cup of tea. And then people come from different generations. This is like girl. Mm -hmm. If you were older, Nicki's probably like. I mean, she cute or whatever, but. I grew up with Kim. Like yeah, I grew yeah, up with Kim. Up that with was Kim. my that was my Don Diva when it came mm -hmm. to like rapping back in the day before you know all the stuff happened. But to Jamar's point, this is why we remember when I showed you that tweet when they're like the panel. Since y'all had so much to say about Nikki, da 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 da, da and it was like, girl, are you okay? And then it turned into we always even coming for you. But you came aggressively because if it was Nicki Minaj and because people had opinions about him, and then folks may have liked stuff. So now you like it's these people be yeah these things. You they gotta take a break. Here. You gotta take a pause because ain't nobody on God's green earth is gonna make me lose my shit enough to where I'm gonna argue with folks on the internet over her. I did that already with Beyonce in my twenties. I'm not doing this in my forties with this lady anymore. I'm just not like I don't care. Is she alive and well? Is the music selling? Okay, good. Are you enjoying the music? That's the main question. Do you like her music? Right, that's all that should matter. Right. She's right. She's like her. All that like, should matter. If you, you like, like it, enjoy it, play it, stream it all day long. If and then I just don't, it shouldn't affect you. <laughs> at all. It's not for me. <laughs> like why, why, does, why does the why do everybody else have to say what you think for the validation to be effective for your artist to be? insanely good. I drag Christina Aguilera every day with this bitch over here. Not jo not Josiah, the, the hands going to Jamar. And not <laughs> I, I drag that lady. Yeah, yeah, hot pockets out of that ass throat. I be dragging her. But guess what? Jamar's still gonna be her fan. He, sure will, all all going. He, he went to Todrick Hall's concerts, of all people. <laughs> He went to literally oh, the personification you know of what I mean? in between two Oreo cookies. You did. You did what? You did. Your you number one artist was in with Todrick Hall. I could not believe out of all the people that made music that year. I mean, she. But like, that's your mom. That's what he liked. Josiah, I don't know. He's too young, sister. I don't know. He made like Uzi Vert or some shit over here. Hell no. <laughs> no, he don't. <laughs> I can relate with T because we old old bitches that be bitter and hateful sometimes. So it really come down to it. Y'all like the old aunties that I be at things. I have a brick in my oh, car. Man. I throw it at any given time. Someone pisses me off. I may not have a gun, but your window's gonna be. Busted. I mean, like you just like you just said a minute ago. You said you only know K Michelle for drama, and you know I love her music. And I, I know you do. Damn. I I know she's been in Houston before. I know she was in a arena of music, and she made sounds and songs before. I know that you and Jamar also paid attention and possibly had the cheap his front row seats there. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> you know, some people go to Groupon concerts. Others, you know, oh. have to do the Live Nation and the effects. It's okay. It's okay. We had fun at that concert. They didn't see. They did. And they paid for K. Michelle's wig that got destroyed on a show later, right? Just for them going. <laughs> They got to see, they got to see uh, K. Michelle and Keisha Cole later this year, too. Ooh, you said Cole Slaw <laughs> and Hope. Wait, wait, what you said? That's I haven't right. made up my mind on that one. I'm sorry, uh, is that the so Shrimp so. and Grits tour? What is going on here? <laughs> who all oh, on that tour? It's, it's Keisha, K. Michelle, Jaheem, and Trey Songs. <laughs> Jaheem. <Jones. laughs> where did they, yeah. where did they all they go, go from Jaheem from? <laughs> It's First like all condiments all. you would never put on anything that are just well, you know, where the, the fuck has Jaheen been for them to find him for a concert? Universe. Oh my god, Trey Songs being the youngest one out of everybody there is the gag. I cannot like the real for me was Jaheen. I said you who girl. I can deal with Jaheen though. I don't want to see Trey. You don't want to see goats? No. I don't want to see you don't want to see Jason Derulo go in. You don't want to do it. You know my class. 
My speak. cousins are the biggest Trey Song fans, y'all, and they call themselves Trey Angels, but they stop after these this whole allegation stuff. Not so, Trey like, Angels. Trey Angels. Okay. Okay. Trey, Trey Angels. <laughs> <laughs> Trey Angels. That's what they are. They're they're be, they're they're part of the Trey Song fans. They could have not. Not to say there's gonna be a whole lot of hollering. Yeah, <laughs> Keisha Cole gonna be on stage making fish plates while she's singing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michelle's gonna stop the song and talk about a man that she don't even like no more. <laughs> Raheem's gonna sit there and cry because somebody asked him to be on stage. The Trey Song's gonna be dodging hits from women that he had put his hands on for. Whoa, whoa, while he's singing. I can't, I can't, and I won't. Child, you know that's gonna be a ghetto ass event. They coming to Houston too. Oh, tell me it's at the Arena Palace. Tell me, tell me it's at the Arena Palace, please. I know it's not Toyota and I know it's Lemonade Maid. I think this, it's a sugar house of Smart financial center. Oh, it's at the sugar. Oh, it's oh, okay, all the way out there. Oh, okay, I know exactly where it's gonna be. There's a little is it, is it at the arena center. The drag oh, race girls went there, Jamar. Mm -hmm. What's it called? That little um, concert place in Sugarland, the event center that they make for financial people who are, smarts for not the big girls. Yes. Ooh, oh, I, I, haven't, I don't think I've been to that place for. Because work the world did it for drag race, so that lets me know that they're not. <clears throat> so it's it ain't no big high. like it'll be a small arena. You know? I thought they were gonna, very small. I thought they were gonna do House of Blues. <laughs> now, now that now that would have been small or warehouse. Woo, baby. Oh, warehouse. Okay, that's what we so, went for K Michelle in Houston was House of Blues. So it ain't gonna be like no scream tour, black panty tour type thing. It's mm -hmm. it's gonna be like it's, it's gonna some gonna random some... ass shit that somebody put together. <laughs> <laughs> what we used to call back in the day to you remember the Chitlin circuit. Remember how we used to have <laughs> they still have that technically, they just wouldn't call it that no more. They could have just left Jaheem and Trey off of this. I would have just been fine with Keisha and K Michelle. I would have been. But then again, I like Jaheem though. I but just don't like but they need women in their hold on now, because you see they they need so <laughs> There are the male artists that women go to see, and then there are the female artists. I hate even saying it like that, but female artists that then women go to see, right? That's two mixtures of two different groups, and they all probably bought the same CDs and cassettes. I think it's a smart idea to bring it in. Now, Jaheem, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's maybe nice to see Trey performing again. I, I don't really, I don't really think so. I'm just saying that to me. I would have put Tank in his place. But take I would put in the Toyota Center before I would put him. Right. I was just about to say, uh, Maddie, they all gonna be at the Toyota Center. <laughs> they're gonna downtown. be at the Toyota Center downtown. Yes, they're gonna, they gonna right fill up the Toyota downtown. Center. No, Jamar. No, no, no. Now you now that's where we have to pause. Jamar, Jamar said they're gonna fill up. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you, if you better, I've been to the Toyota Center for a concert that didn't have nobody there. It is going to be echo. Echo, echo, echo. Echo. Stop. No, don't be sleepy. I told you all the hood people gonna be going out there now. Not with the front row tickets. Who getting front row tickets? Everybody gonna be in the back. It's gonna be <laughs> 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 gonna, they're gonna be singing the who in the front of the audience. No <laughs> and no then way. you know, so there are some dates that Kate Michelle isn't even on, so I don't know. Oh, what, what, what obligations did she have? Her is it country music still, or is she? Oh, I forgot she has a whiskey brand. Don't she have a whiskey? She does. Did you buy it? I have many times. Are you, is it in your house now? No, it's not. Not a real fan. <laughs> <laughs> I know Jamar has Christina Aguilera's pictures and Rihanna's pictures. Beyonce's up there. She should be more. Um, <laughs> Look, I can't just not have it. She has to be what <laughs> the most. <laughs> it's it's Detroit in you. I know you. You couldn't. You couldn't take a. a um, what are we talking about? I'm. I'm out of here, bitches. What's okay? On? Let's What's move on. Everybody, I gotta go. Hey, I gotta hey, kill this rag. Hold on. Speaking of K Michelle, she's also in here. Her Rashida. Girl, this is her Rashida. Are in the blocks. Girl, I'm sick of it. You, you made sure to put a big picture of in front of uh, K. Michelle. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it all, oops, my bad. It all started with Sukiyana. Sukiyana made a tweet hell? saying, since everybody is scared to say it, I think it's about time that Rashida apologizes to K. Michelle. Suki, mind your business. 
So then after you that, ten years old, like, please, my <laughs> after that, the people started to drag Rashida, and Rashida came out with this. Oh wait a minute, not with the glass. Well, anyway, so <laughs> um, I'm gonna go visit my grandmother, and that's that. But I love my honey. We're here. No, I'm no, great no, doing no, those. No, no, no. Just talking. To Girl, but then, like, I'm not apologizing. I'm not doing none of that. Balls, <laughs> yeah, doing all that. How's How's that? I, said, what? No, I want to know. I'm the normal trick daddy. Well, if you tell a dumb, <laughs> go back and go look at the <laughs> reunion when you did apologize, they'll shut the up. Oh this. my god, somebody said their aunt is 102. Oh wow, that is beautiful. That's amazing. That is nothing See, but a blessing. And but you know what I said? I don't care about stuff like that. But what I care about is but, but my grandmother know, yeah. being 96. Right, and they need to I do said, that. Look, there they go. Uh -huh. Thank you. Please but get go on my look page. And shut up. They need to... We're not. We're not coming here for that. If yeah, you come here for that, still, you come on my page. That, but anyway, fuck that. Um, Address them. <laughs> uh, uh. Now, first she said that she wasn't going to apologize. That's what she said. <clears throat> but then she turned around and responded after she was dragged and i ain't gonna play that one because that's a little longer but she claims that she apologized to k michelle before but um i don't think the people ever seen her apologize no she, what the hell she ever did. apologized she, my my only, she said i don't believe you it didn't happen my only takeaway from that is kirk shut the fuck up why is he there? like kirk <laughs> just Kirk cross under my damn skin. I'm just, uh, and then the minute somebody say something to him, does she want to be the one getting mad and upset? To tell your husband to shut up. Like he the main one want to talk egg and on. And my whole thing is, nigga, be a damn man. And tell her to shut the hell up. Like y'all should be no, tired of talking apologize. about this at this point. Well, you know he would never like see if it came a like, shot. I mean, but I'm he just going to tell his chat to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I mean, at this point, K. Michelle said, F her apology. She don't want no apology from her. And Rashida ain't never going to apologize. So we can all move on. So we can just leave it alone. It's so just imagine left how it started it. because Suki mentioned it and then had to bring Rashida in to start talking about it to where K. Michelle's like, I don't care. But like somebody who wasn't even there for that situation that happened, somebody that is currently doing their own reality TV nonsense and mess this and the other. Also, we've seen what they've done this. I think it's about time. I think that was for engagement. I think Rashida took the bait. Mm -hmm. And then we had to sit here and now have this conversation. I, that's what I think happened. Y'all got nope. smarter. <laughs> they got well, smarter, man. The last topic for what's the tea before we move on to the last segment is T.S. Madison and Boosie. Team T.S. Madison all day, every day, simple Girl, days, forever days. Listen, okay, so That's my I ain't been going to go into reading what he said, but we already know what he was talking about. And he said that he took his seven and nine-year-old daughters to go see the color purple why i don't know he seen two women kissing and that made him leave the movie because he feels like so he never saw the original color purple clearly he did I'm like, or read the book. like they're like mind y'all and that's the part that really started making me question a lot of black folks on this good good old weekend because i'm like so you never saw the first movie then because you wouldn't have been surprised by that had you seen the first one with Whoopi Goldberg and Chuck Avery's character literally had a whole kiss, a whole kiss, that entire scene. The book is different too, mind you. They so like, a lot more. A lot more. But they had no issues with Mista. They had no issues with the full on what was happening in that situation that got them to where they were and how he was abusing all that. That was okay for your daughters to see. Right. Yeah, right. So you can watch a black woman get abused and slapped around, but oh, kissing? Because that's always okay. Did I mean, you not know that? Boosie dead more gay ass. We are and be clear, gay you've gay been gay. pushing the gay agenda since you started making music, nigga. So I don't understand where you get off with that shit either. Like you the main one who talked about right two red bones kissing in the backseat. You like you girls, the you like other girls. Like I was a teenager. I was a damn tween. Around that damn time when oh, you first me. came out, you may as well say that. Like, I just barely got in high school. Like, what are you talking about? And you was running around here, and people knew your lyrics. People I went to school with knew your lyrics word from damn word. 
We had no business listening to stuff like that. So what are you talking about, Boosie? And why would you bring your seven and nine year old to go see the color purple any fucking way? That's not the a same reason why he bought some dirty, disgusting stripper to suck on his uh, chair and dick. Underage child's uh, pain, pain. Yeah, yeah. And, the same and then reason why. about it, talked about it, came through with it, admitted it, and all that kind of jazz, and sat but, there and said, "We don't know what we're talking about." While having a, a, a down home southern granddaddy, I wonder what he feel about that. And mind you, isn't his daughter a lesbian? What are we mm -hmm. doing today? Ain't two of them lesbians. <laughs> Yes, she's I, a stud, honey. Ain't it two of them, though? But, yeah, but can I give y'all some tea real quick? So, um, Boosie's tour manager is a homosexual man. He's gay. Um, he was that. on the gay dating. He was on this uh, podcast, The Gay Dating Show. And his tour manager, like, his manager is a gay man. So, it's so crazy for him to be going on all of these rants when your manager is gay. Well, no, I was that. I mean, we are we know his prison stories. And that's why they're also keeping it in work mode too. But I also would question the person who is queer, who I get. We all need opportunities, but you're literally facilitating somebody into getting money that's also going to your pockets with someone who does not respect you as a person or see you as an individual whole. Well, maybe as a whole. But you know, um, you have to, you have to we remember in jail. Hello, what if said something on her uh post that was one of the funniest things that I've ever read in my life, and it was you're still fighting that erection from prison. The dead part that's my thing. I, <laughs> I don't think when I say now that, that is how you end a whole read mm -hmm. on somebody because. In reality, you were on uh, Instagram lives talking about men fucking other men in prison and how that was making you like, what the fuck is all this kind of shit? You were in there for quite some time. I'm definitely in belief that you had your booty play with by at least somebody with thicker uh, fingers than you. So, you know, I don't, I don't, he's, why do we, why is he still here? His eye bags give me death. Like he looks like the he tree that's rotting from the inside. Before. Like he was mainly like some underground rapper that most people down south was listening to. He wasn't even famous until these blogs. Exactly. Like he's still not, out. he's still not even famous. He's more famous right. for his views than he is for his music, where he's still yeah. on the belt of the southern uh, you know, for the southern states. But, but I also but see here's my thing that I don't understand. Like when we <laughs> I don't understand when I see people in the comments on the trash hood talk sitting around here talk, you know, agreeing with the stuff that he's saying. You know, why y'all, why every time he says something, y'all trying to force it? No one's forcing anything on him. No one's forcing him to say anything about what's going on. He he can't keep his mouth literally off of gay people. But that's my that's my argument with folks that have such an issue with things. We're not on the internet every day talking about you. You're on the internet every day talking about us while we're minding our business. Okay. Right. And so I now have to sit here through, well, that's just how I believe. Okay, so you're telling me that you don't like trans people because you don't believe in trans folks. Okay, you don't like gay folks because you don't like the sexuality bit and so forth and so on. Okay, that's great. You're telling me every single day what you don't like. Right. Please ask yourself that question. Like, have your way of thinking and whatever, whether we agree or not. But the fact that you have to say something every five fucking seconds makes it very strange and very weird. It's very obsessive. It's a little sad. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't You give more energy to our community than we Give do. me, you are a <laughs> cock sucking, ball tingling, uh, scrotum sack swallowing, pubic hair holding piece of come receptacle shit. It gives me that whenever I hear anything from anybody talk about gay folks, talk about trans people. You either want to fuck the dolls, you want to be the doll. You want to be a queer or you're not a queer. It sounds like that because I have straight friends that do not talk like this and do not go here. through all of right. these levels of can you believe it? Can it, it? It sounds like a bunch of small penises in one room talking about how we are the biggest cocks on the planet. And I'm saying that word, I hate that word. I'm saying that word because I, I hate that to word too, man. <laughs> that man, <laughs> <is> top <laughs> sucking, that stiff motherfucking that artichoke pussy ass, burnt, built old southern piece of fucking shit, and I hate him. Sorry. And another thing that I saw that was very interesting and stupid when I saw somebody in the comments saying, 
Um, y'all trying to force, they started off with y'all constantly trying to force this on us because straight people got rights too. Who taking y'all rights from y'all? Oh. If, if you don't use these apps, a lot of these straight folks don't know who use apps properly. If you don't go mute words, if you don't go find some folks and mute people and get your algorithm the way you want it to be, like, what do you think this is? Like, I have it's just crazy to me. I'm sorry. So what rights are you talking about? Like, what? what right. How are any of your rights being infringed upon based on who you are? Nobody you mean, is, you, mean you know, going against. Heard? Where you think this is a gay thing, but it's really also about women who have the rights to their own bodies so that they can have the actual medical needs and necessities so they can be taken care of in situations to where they may have to get something like an abortion or they may have to get some sort of like medicine or treatment that they can't go through a regular doctor for because of shame in their family because how people treat them. That kind of shit. Is it because you want to be in everyone's business? I don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't understand, folks. The same saying. person out here. <laughs> Talking about all these gays are sick is probably the same person over there with three STIs uh, and, and going around fucking all these women, not even wiping their ass properly. So it's very strange for me when people have top, like, I want to say something. You really shouldn't. You have no no education. You have no intelligence to this that you can add. There's straight ignorance. Sorry, I'm getting so hot, but Boosie is one of those people who, in life, it's like the negative effect, like the opposite of you. That's how I feel about him. He is bizarro. That is a strange man who I think should have been left in prison. And I'm going to say it right there. Absolutely. And that's Absolutely. Not, not adding to society. Nothing. Nothing well, that's to society. That's the best way to end it. Um, <laughs> we can go on to the last um segment of the night. And that is Queer Connections. Um, Josiah had sent me something the other night. He was... Like this would be this would probably be something um good for us to talk about. Um so here Not it Chino. is. Someone on Twitter. I was like Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I love I, I don't even know who follow. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Oh, okay. okay. Porn, bottom, sometimes tops was within this he was in this relationship with this dude, or at least they were fucking right. Man, that man's penis was big. Ooh, um that's who oh. that is. That's Josiah. You watch the you watch the uh, cabin trips, girl. <laughs> it was in my other rhythm. No shame, baby, because he makes great content. That is a beautiful black man. Well, one thing that I learned is you can't trust a lot of these homosexuals. I'm just gonna be honest. And I learned that at a, at, as a young gay. A lot of them, they be jealous. They be haters. They'll talk about you like a dog behind your back. Tell all your damn business all in the goddamn street. Fuck with your dirty peeps straight. They'll do anything they possibly can to get a halo. Some of them. Or at least that's how it was back when I was young, when I was 18, 19, 20. That's why I never went to a lot of the ball scenes and the kiki scenes and shit like that. Because <laughs> it'd it, it be too much. It'd be too much. I, I like to surround myself with like mad like mad punks, like y'all. Not punks. No. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. Um I do feel like sometimes, um, just piggybacking off of what T said, I do feel like sometimes <clears throat> gay guys um uh, can be a little judgmental sometimes and it's not everybody because i don't want to you know generalize anyone but it'd be sometimes i'd be seeing a lot of people um a lot of gays that be the main ones speaking up for other gays and saying that you know we need to we need to be equal we need to be this we need to be that but then they be the same ones that alienate you know other gays because they don't fit a certain aesthetic or a certain look or whatever you know what i mean and i and i've gotten that a lot but on the flip side when you're hanging around the right set of people they're the best mm -hmm. people in the world to be around <laughs> that's why like i said you hang with light-minded folk <laughs> it ain't work absolutely Mm -hmm. Um, specifically as a, as a black gamer, what have you learned? I feel like I've learned that, you know, our sexuality is going to be always more scrutinized by our own families as opposed to our white counterparts mm -hmm. um, due to a lot of practices that our, the generation before us was, you know, instilled in them. And so they would feel like any sort of 
queerness, otherness is going to be viewed as weakness. And so they're much, it seems like they're much more harsh on us than our counterparts. And it's, 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 it's always going to be a slippery slope, but it's like, that's why we have to have community. Um, and it's so weird how we like, uh, what Scotty said, we judge each other so much more harshly than the people outside of our community do. So got to get it together. But I definitely learned that, yeah, we, we're looked at a lot more differently and on a much uh, tighter scope than the others. And also they get, I also learned that they get all upset when you call those things out. You know what I mean? Like when you call out the fact that they are, they can be so judgmental. And when you say that, then it's, you have internalized homophobia. You, you hate, you hate yourself. It's not that I hate myself. I don't hate myself at all. And there is no internalized homophobia. It's just the fact that I'm just telling you what I've experienced myself. Right. Sometimes they can be harsh and hateful to certain, to certain gays. Of course, that's with it. Just say, just say feminine gays. You can say it. Cause that's what the, that's the internalized homophobia that I know is exists that exists currently is those who are femphobic. Mm -hmm. those who put masculinity on a pedestal and they don't understand the definition of masculinity at the same time they only think it's a deep voice or a certain way to act but there's also other things that make a man masculine that someone can find attractive and yes unfortunately we as gays do put looks over emotions and mental things of you know mentality a lot more than others i think that's what i've learned as a gay to not have expectations and many things with people because a lot of times folks will disappoint you, but by not having expectations, the surprises can be ever so sweet. So I understand that we as black gay men have a lot that we deal with when it comes to race, when it comes to colorism, when it comes to a lot of different factors. Uh, but we also are can be our own worst enemies that I've learned. And especially when it comes to stigma on multiple levels, uh, levels whether it's HIV, whether it's like I was just talking about femphobia, this and the other and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'd be so much more powerful as people if we could get over some things, but everybody also is still dealing with their own self-internalized trauma that they won't go see a therapist for. Yeah, so, absolutely. That's, that was a, that's a great point. And I'm glad you brought up the femphobia thing because like a lot of times I, I'd be seeing other gays have conversations on other platforms. And I know that Jamar and I have frequent certain platforms where the term of, you know the feminine the, the femme gays come up and they think that all femme gays do is turn around and bottom and shit like that and then you know when you talk about sex and you say that you're a film top and then they look down on you and turn your nose up when you say that you right, so some of them blouses can turn you out i don't know what they talking about absolutely <laughs> that's a blouse if y'all want a name for a feminine top it's called a blouse okay um and yeah some of them blouses be on the good button ups okay they'll be wearing i'll let y'all have it and and I, i'll take y'all word for it and guys speak Oh, I see that internalized homophobia stuff. Internalized <laughs> <laughs> shit, bitch. That's what y'all like, and I'm here for. So that's what y'all like. I, I said I've had. Okay, I didn't say like at the same time. See how you just gave me something and said I don't have variety. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, I just boosted your ass, didn't I? Ain't you really did. Way. See what it's contagious. <laughs> Ignorance. It's contagious. <laughs> I'm just trying to give the blouses a shout out because y'all know what's up. Yes, girl, the the face is clean shaven, but the pain is lean and it's long and it's strong. They hit the right, but like Ooh. at the same time, like. I also would like to say uh, position shaming is an issue that we have. Yeah. So, like as a bottom, hello, thank you. Um, I feel like some people think it's a negative, yet y'all want bottoms that you think look like tops. Mm. And then all of a sudden, yeah. why is it so loose? Well, you liked hamburger meat, hon, and you could have had yourself a nice steak. Dear God, you know, it is a thing of position um, shaming for sure. I think for me growing up, you know, I was very sheltered growing up. So as I am in my late 20s, about to turn 30, I'm still exploring certain things and learning things about myself. And I always felt like I was like the awkward kid, back to everything. Like I just, it was just one point in my life that I just felt like I didn't fit in. I didn't fit in with straight people i didn't fit in with gay people i'm like who the hell you know i wasn't an anime guy so i wasn't like really like the nerd type i was like who the hell 
I was like, what am I supposed to do? But I learned to just be, you know, <laughs> people like you for you. And they will vibe with you based off on you. What? Is I was laughing at your mom. the anime people to go, <laughs> yep, unrelatable. Because <laughs> that's how we related with other gay folks who's animes and video games. And I, I see what you're saying, Josiah. That's why I was like, oh, mm-hmm. that, that explains a lot. No anime. Bitch, get into it. It's good stuff. No. <laughs> great story. It's a great story. conversation starter. <laughs> it is. It is. I, mean, I appreciate what I went through though, coming up in my you know late teenagers and my twenties and all of that, because now I know, so you know what I'm saying, and I got more experience that I didn't have before. Because Lord have mercy, Jesus, I felt bad for that boy. That's what I mean by you thinking they're your friend, Sandy, because that's what I thought. That boy left that damn house, child, the whole house, like for thirty minutes, just talked about that boy like a dog. I said, "Oh dear God, I felt so bad for." Him. Lord, I felt so bad for him. I said, but didn't y'all say that was your 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 niece? <laughs> That's your door door. That's your this, your that. And then the minute that they left, big, ooh, oh, God, them reads was vicious. Now, I would say this though. Um, before I met Jamar, I was I did have my my specific, still have them specific circle of um of gay guys that I hang with. And then I met Jamar, and I had never hung around someone that you know did that did drag or makeup i'd never ever experienced that before until i met jamar and i always give him credit for kind of opening my eyes up to different things because i was closed-minded and i didn't understand certain things because i remember i remember one time i'm like why do you wear makeup like like (laughs) like what is that about and he had to you know, he'd explain it to me and stuff like that. Like he, a lot of these people that I know now, I would have known if it wasn't for him. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I ain't never watched Drag Race. That's something that Jamar and Maddie likes, and I had never met nobody that watch actually it. watched. Mm-hmm. Huh? You still don't watch it? I, I, yeah, I still don't. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm trying. I, I played like the <laughs> 14 finale in front of her, and she paid the dust. <laughs> And mind you, this whole weekend, including right after this, I'm going immediately into Drag Race for the next four days, but, consistently filming something for it. So, yes. Scotty, Hopefully, did you ever think in. something was like kind of wrong with you in a sense? Because I know I felt that way sometimes. Because like I tried to get into Drag Race and it never got me. But then when I was around my other gay friends, they was like, well, why you don't like it? Well, what's the problem with it? Or da 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 you need to get in. And so I would try to, and it was just like, yeah, it really don't do it for me. I, and they I looked did, at me like I was weird. I did kind of question myself, and that's why I always feel so out of place right. sometimes when it comes down to like like LGBT and the, and the spaces. I always feel like an outcast. I always feel like I don't fit somewhere. It's because I I don't really have. A lot of the same interests. So sometimes I feel like, what the fuck is wrong with me? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. is, something, is something wrong with me? I don't know. I, I I have questioned myself, but at the same time, everybody's not gonna have the same interest. And that's just something that we have to understand. Like just because you gay don't mean that you're gonna like this or, exactly. or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean and it's funny for me because I you know I watched a couple of episodes of Drag Race and it was cool but I just never really got into it. However I do like watching Queer Eye for a straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I want and Noah's Ark was my shit back in the day. Yes, Maddie, I used to watch Noah's Ark when it first came out back in two thousand and five. So you know, I love. I just have a different variety of stuff I actually enjoy. <laughs> Which is fair. I feel like there's a there's like a lens or like a barrier where a lot of people look at Drag Race as more of a gay thing, but like a lot of the aspects that you like from all your favorite reality shows are in are in there. Like race. <laughs> I'm telling you. Honey, they but, pay my bills, so I ain't talking about the people that put uh, lights on my table, baby. That shows everything and then some I've been doing all the, <laughs> the franchise. I wouldn't watch anything by Carlos King, like you and your Bell Collective and all that kind of bullshit. Well, I watch Bell Collective because one of my friends is on that show, honey. It feels very much um, <laughs> under budget housewives that's, That's exactly what it's given. It's given exactly. I, 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 I wouldn't waste my time with that at all. 
So that's, I guess, where we all have our differences. Because <laughs> I'd rather talk about gay people than, oh, who are these people? Well, no, don't care. And Screw. you you see how that works? Yes, somebody please tell Carlos King to stop doing... Oh, God, here comes this train. <laughs> Now you went all night without that train. (laughs) Oh my god! But but I but that was a great conversation to close this 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 season out. Okay. Uh, First things first. Before we get up out of here, I just want to say that um, it's always a joy to work with you four guys, and we had a great season. I feel like this is one of our best seasons we have had. This was a great season. We had. I really enjoyed myself this season. It was a lot of fun. Um, Thank you to the people that watch the show. We really appreciate it. And um, that's really all I got to say when it comes down to that. Like, it's always a joy to work with you guys, and I can't wait to do more. So before we get up out of here, um, let's talk about what we all got going on before we uh, close this thing out. And um, yeah, so Josiah, what you got going on? Is the train still? The train still? Okay. Jamar, what you got? <laughs> so, of course, as Maddie knows, we're about to gear up for season 16 of Drag Race. Shout out to Hershey LaCour Jate. Um, Someone you know, Scotty, so will you watch the show? <laughs> you have to watch. Well, I'll get into it. We'll, we'll get into it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try to start, you know, dusting off my YouTube channel, still deciding on what it is I want to do there. If we want to do anything different, um, still getting everything going with the house. Um, yeah, but you'll see me over there at Maddie's house talking about everything Drag Race. Not Maddie's house, Maddie's channel, <laughs> everything Drag Race. Okay, Maddie, you next. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Now that the train has arrived, I shall say something. Thank you, train. <laughs> Drag Race is an amazing show. I paid my bills. It's helped my life in so many ways. I did drag for the first time last year, and I was paid a lot of money, and it made me believe in who I am. So to hear these three gentlemen talk about it in such a negative way, I can't, I can't, I won't, I won't. But anywho, season uh, 16 of RuPaul's Drag Race is premiering tomorrow on MTV. And I will be covering it on my channel this entire weekend for both a Saturday review panel on Sunday and Canada's Drag Race, which is a franchise series. You know about break off franchise series, right, Scotty? Uh, where, you know, it's in Canada. And of course, I'll be doing reactions on that on Patreon, this, that, and the other. I will be busy for the next four or five months. I'm just going to tell you that now. Busy. And God bless, because YouTube hasn't been paying me like they should, and now they have to. So boom, shakalaka boom. Ooh. Whatever they talk about on here. Bye. Ain't December and November are the slowest fucking months for YouTube as far as money goes. Oof, Jesus. Um, T, what you got? Oh, Lord. Bell Collective, Love Ooh. and Marriage Townsville, Ooh. Potomac, Ooh. Um, Married to Medicine, and, uh, you know, whatever comes out that I want to talk about, I hit you up. Okay, Jojo, are you ready? Yes. Yeah, so, um, you know, I guess after this big old, you know, beginning of the year startup with this whole drama with Salt Lake City, I'm um, expecting for me to get video, expect to get hot topic videos almost every day so I can keep the moment going. And then um, also, I have a couple of documentaries that will be coming out. So stay tuned. You'll be seeing me more. Okay, New Year. Um, you know, me, new me. What they say, New Year, new me. Just kidding. Yes. Yes. So. Mm-hmm. All righty then. Well, um, as we know it, this is the season finale of Boys Night Out. We will be back on your screen in the summertime. All right. We'll be back like we always do late summer, looking like it's looking like, you know, August, September, you know, giving a little bit of charade. Spring, summer, joggers. We'll be back. And uh, we will. <laughs> You're kidding me with this lighter. We will see you then, you guys. With that being said, we are out. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>